Hi everyone, welcome back to the Devera Art Studio. Today we're continuing our series on working with natural inks. In the first video, I spoke to you about creating inks using methylated spirits as the base solution. Today we're going to be using water. Very easy to do, great fun, you can do it with the kids, and then adding different um, addition elements such as household vinegar, bicarbonate of soda, and maybe even some cream of tartar just to see what's going to happen. This will give us, hopefully, some different colours from our base starting point. Here I'm using red cabbage, water, enough to cover your vegetable matter, an old saucepan, a good heat source, and glass jars, uh, enough for each of your experimental elements that you're going to use. Here I've used wine glasses because I'm only making a small bit. And then also a selection of elements to add to your base solution. Have a look in your cupboards and if you happen to be a dyer you're bound to have some other things that you could play with uh, including you know turmeric, citric acid, vinegar, copper sulfate, iron sulfate, alum. The mind goes wild. The well, cabbage is boiling away right now. What I'm looking for is a reduction of the colour from the cabbage itself. And then I think we'll have distilled the most opportunity we have to gain colour. So it's still got a little way to go and I'll give it a stir up and we'll come back to it again. The colour is looking beautifully purple. It's getting darker all the time. It won't be long now and we'll be able to see what we can work with. Oh, it's just luscious, if you can see through the steam. So here we have our three wine glasses and they all have the base solution in them from the red cabbage. There's approximately 90 mils in each and what we're going to do is do a little bit of maths and just add some additions so we can see what happens to the colour. To the first glass from the right, I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Oh, look, can you see? It's actually changing to a dark blue colour. To the middle glass, I'll now add a quarter of a teaspoon of household white vinegar and it's lightening the color but I'd like to add maybe another quarter of a teaspoon I don't think the difference is enough to be interesting so let's add another quarter of vinegar to this one so we've got half a teaspoon of household vinegar in this one and a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda in that one. I'm going to be adding to the last one a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. I actually don't know if this will make any difference, but let's experiment and see. We'll give that a bit of a stir. And it does not much more different to the vinegar. So the cream of tartare and the vinegar do about the same in terms of color influence, but the bicarbonate of soda has made a significant difference. So just to remind you, here is our base solution and the color that we have just from the red cabbage in water. Now in this group of three, I'm going to add iron sulfate, which is a garden, something you put on your garden, and turmeric. Again, just for fun, just to see what happens. I'm using for the iron sulfate around about again, a quarter of a teaspoon. Let's see what that does. Give it a stir. Ooh, it's going a different purple. On the next one, I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric powder 
just what we use in curries and cooking. Give that a stir. See, experimenting is really fun. And as long as you make your notes so you know what you did and you know that you can repeat it. On the left is our original colour. In the middle is turmeric and it's gone an orangey tone. And on the right is ferrous sulfate added, which has made it a kind of purpley black. Now we know what proportions we can add. So to approximately 90 mils of solution, we can add, start at a quarter of a teaspoon. If you want it darker or more experimenting, just add a little bit more, but do it a small bit each time and make notes. I have lined up all our samples from plain through to cream of tartare and you can probably just see the difference. I'll just stir up our turmeric one again. Everything else is in solution. The turmeric needs a little bit longer. But you can see the variations of colour. So now what I'm going to do is add these to my um, colour chart. Now this is on watercolour paper and that's quite simple. So just I just dip my brush in and paint them onto the paper. So it just may take a little bit of... You've got to be fairly generous to get a nice colour covering. So it'll be interesting to see what colour it's going to dry because that's what we're after. How exciting is this? This is red cabbage on its own. Now these are all still wet. Um, in, I would expect them to dry slightly differently in colour. But this is the red cabbage with ferrous sulphate. So it's got a blue grey tone. Then we've got the turmeric edition. So it's more yellowy green. By carb of soda, we've got a green blue. Oh, it's so exciting from the one thing. Then with our vinegar edition, and then with our cream of tartare. So how exciting from one vegetable, from one solution, we have created one, two, three, four, five, six different colors. That is really amazing science. And now that we know the proportion of things, we can actually just multiply that up. Who would have thought that art is science and maths together? Whoa. So try this with anything. And so this is just boiling it up in water, remember. Covering your, your vegetable matter, your flowers, whatever it might be, with water. Make note of the amount of water that you put in. For my half a cabbage, I put in four litres of water. Then do some sampling. And so that you can actually adjust the colour. You can add more, add less of your additions and just to see what happens. And you'll have heaps of choices to make from just one opportunity of boiling up something in water. Make sure to finish off with your ink making with water by labelling your bottles, your containers, and also including a label on the top that relates directly to your colour chart. This is a great help to finding them again. Now having labelled everything, I'm going to put in, these are whole cloves, and I'm going to put three or four cloves into this jar. What that will do will help preserve the liquid without it going mouldy. I've also used lavender oil, which smells nice. Cloves also smell nice. And, but it does actually help preserve the liquid.